Breaking news, was not expecting that. The cops have dropped their charges against Christo. This whole embarrassing ordeal has come to a quivering end, I must say, from such bravado of, first of all, arresting him in the first place, which was just, why? But then on top of that, months afterwards, trying to stop us from reporting on it because they, they knew, obviously knew that they were in the wrong. They were running on this whole, this time it's personal against Christo. I really don't understand why it was so personal to them. But they were out to get him. They were pulling every trick they possibly could. They didn't care about running up costs for the taxpayer either. This was all court issued things that you had to pay for that they weren't going to win. But they were throwing every spanner in the works they could. I don't think that they dropped it because of noble reasons. I honestly think the reason they did is because what Christo's subpoenas were bringing to light. Obviously, we have to do the whole Oscars thank you very much speech at the end, but we'll be putting them in black and white to make it look like they have died. So, in memoriam, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Mark Davis from Xenophon Davis and Christo's barrister, Emmanuel Kirkusherian, both strategic geniuses from day dot. This really could have gone the other way if we just went to legal aid without your support you're the third person that we need to thank thank you very much for that because if we just had to go to that lawyer that's at the end of the courtroom they probably would have been like um yeah actually just do double the jail time that the cops want you to do you know like th these guys outclass the cops thank you for your support but where do we go from here might i draw your attention to the first video post christo's arrest and Mark is going to represent both Christo and myself and also take on the cops who assaulted his family. That's right, Christo Lanker goes to Perimeter. We're tagging on the fuzz. We're gonna have more videos coming, such as tomorrow, stay tuned. That's the first one, there's gonna be more after that. Anyway, uh, good news, thank you. So how are you feeling? Oh, pretty fantastic. Uh, I have to, yeah, charges were dropped, so. Yeah, thank you all so, so much for the massive amount of support you gave both me and Jordan and the whole team during this whole ordeal. Like, I'm just unbelievably grateful to the audience and what, what, everyone. What, what's it meant to you to have that, have that support? Oh, just, I, you know, it's, um, it's just, it just shows like how fundamentally decent the majority of Australians are. And it's just, I don't know, it's really just overwhelming how how, uh, I just, just how generous everyone's been and how, uh, you know, vocal they've been in, I guess, standing up for what I think is pretty a pretty noble cause, which is maybe you should be able to, you know, question your politicians. Lucky you, uh, lucky you filmed it too, huh? Yeah, lucky I filmed it and also lucky I had, uh, you know, fantastic lawyers such as Mark and, uh, you know, fantastic boss such as Jordan and uh, fantastic employees, that other employees that work there that don't really get as much credit for all the work they do as well. And also, good courts that really, you know, that, you know, when police did come in with pretty sh shoddy evidence, especially on the contempt stuff, they didn't, it didn't play very well. So, you know, it's, and, and parliament as well, like really thankful to the politicians who questioned the police about why this all happened. You know, it actually is a fairly hopeful story. And I know it really, it's naive to think it happens for everyone who gets a charge. And I don't think it does, and a lot of people end up in different situations. But it really is a really good result, and I'm very, very thankful and lucky for it to have it. Bad luck. You dickhead. Please share and comment below. Command.